While a lot of automakers skipped the 2018 Paris Auto Show, we still saw some exciting electric cars. Unfortunately, many were concepts. Some, like the Audi e-tron, are very expensive, and others aren't coming for a couple of years. Luckily, we did see a couple of affordable EVs, including one that's very familiar, that are coming to Europe soon. Mercedes kicked off the show this year by unveiling the Smart 4Es, an ever-so-cute concept based on the 4.2. If the company ever built it, you'd need to avoid the rain because there's no roof, period. The idea is that you, a young in heart and carefree person, can breeze through the city with the wind in your hair. That apparently symbolizes the authentic urban mobility that's the concept of the brand. We also got another look at the Mercedes EQC launched last month. It's quite pretty in person and now looks like a real car rather than a concept. But there are enough design touches and tech to identify it as an EQ rather than a regular Mercedes vehicle. Next up is Renault's crazy Easy Ultimo. It follows the EasyGo and Easy Pro, completing Renault's trilogy of urban mobility vehicles. The idea is to show how people will get around with fewer privately owned cars in an eco-friendly way. While the EasyGo would carry passengers and the Easy Pro is for deliveries, the Easy Ultimo is more deluxe. Hotels, restaurants, or companies could use it to transport upscale clients, so it's like a luxury apartment inside. On the outside, it's absurdly huge and looks like a Fabergé egg for people. Renault's French rival Peugeot showed off the e-legend, an electric self-driving Gallic muscle car. It's got a throwback design that includes a crushed velvet interior, but has 16 screens and a retractable steering wheel from the future. While Audi unveiled the e-tron last month, we got to see it here in Paris too. It's priced at $86,700 for the first edition model, and will no doubt steal some Tesla Model S and Model X sales. Audi also flaunted its PB18 e-tron, a 600 horsepower supercar spaceship with room to haul groceries. Kia's e-Niro crossover is not as exciting, but at least it's a real car Europeans can buy later in 2018. The design is a bit bland, and it's no Tesla fighter, with acceleration about half as quick. However, Kia is claiming incredible range, namely 301 miles on a charge. It has yet to tell us the all-important price, though. Speaking of EVs you can buy soon, Citroën brand DS showed off the DS3 Crossback e-Tense crossover. You may not have heard of DS, but it's hugely popular in Europe. The electric version will go about 186 miles between charges, and you can juice it up to 80% in just 30 minutes. We don't know the price, but it'll arrive in mid-2019. On a more exciting note, there is the Infinity Project Black S. It uses technology not to save the planet, but to drive on it as fast as possible. The dual hybrid system can gather heat and convert it to extra power, giving you up to 563 ponies. Then we have the Bugatti Vivo, which isn't electric at all, but just look at it. There's a 1500 horsepower W16 motor behind the driver that powers it to 236 miles per hour. Only 40 will be built, and despite the $5.8 million price tag, it's already sold out. I mentioned that one affordable EV will soon be for sale in Europe. You've definitely heard of that one, it's the Tesla Model 3. Tesla displayed it for the first time in France, and even on press day, it drew a ton of gawkers. The Paris Auto Show showed us one thing. Electric cars for the masses aren't here yet. Still, we saw some pretty crazy concepts and a couple of mainstream EVs like Kia's e-Niro that are bringing that moment closer. We'll have to wait another couple of years for the next Paris Auto Show, but with all the EVs coming in 2020, it could be the biggest ever.